Who is LJP Tech YouTuber? They've even featured the Evo X robot on their channel. It did, yeah. <laughs> See, that's very clever. <laughs> Innobot has released the Evo Air 2 Plus, a more compact and affordable option compared to Evo X, which I reviewed a while ago. Despite the lower price, it still features the latest technology, an impressive and strategic move by Innobot. One of the key upgrades is the addition of animated eyes, designed for two-way live video calling and engaging AI-powered interactions. It also supports AI auto-tracking, patrolling, and guarding offering a truly hands-free experience. Other features include a movable camera, 3K UHD resolution, an AI chatbot, which I'm particularly excited about, auto-charging, and the signature tumbler-style design. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing, so let's get on with it, shall we? So, here it goes. Instruction manual pin as well to reset warranty card and the actual unit good weight UK power socket charging station and a bit of a grip there sticker that you have to take it out the power plug goes here and this will be attached to the wall as well take the main unit out that's how it looks like really big camera oh wait look at that can see all these sensors there about five of them immediately while you can also see the eyes of Ebo the screen of it that's really cool also on the top we got a few buttons microphone as well I think something to hook on here is BC speaker and the wheel really good quality indeed this is for the wireless charging power on and there's some sort of a switch here that you can actually both press it and pull it out voila you got the micro SD card here and the connection here and that's very clever if you put it back on that's the reset button so as you can see the charging dock is showing the blue stripe there which means the power is connected so enough said let's actually put the Evo Air 2 Plus on the charging dock to start look at that we got Innobot logo flashing through both of the eyes screens Evo hi yeah and the logo is really nicely presented as well very cute voice it looks like it needs a scanning. So on the Evo app, we can already see the Evo Air 2 Plus, which is available. You just need to say OK and scan the QR code. So here we go again. We got the QR code so that you need to place it between 15 to 30 centimeters away to your Evo Air 2 Plus. OK, so connecting to the network, it's all approved. If there's anything else we need to do. Oh, hello. That's very cute. So this is the main page of the app. It says the internet connection is excellent, shows the speed, also the Evo code as well, which is the 091. So if I actually click on that, it gives me an option to choose other robots as well. So going back, we got control page here. It shows that it's charging. You can adjust the speed, also tracking, cruise. AI Explore application as well. If we go to the call, you can actually make video call, voice call, call setting as well. And on the video, you can actually take photo, video, display, schedule recording, event recording, and snapshot. And this is the video playback and Evo album, which you can check. So before we get into the remote control uh, test out, you can see the purple light flashing in the camera lens point of view. This is an object um, avoidance right in front of the object clash prevent sensor, okay? Which you can't see in real life, but the camera is able to capture that. But um, since this is on my desk, I'm just gonna be very careful moving it around. So let's actually push it front. Okay, so it doesn't need to balance itself, but you can go 
backwards, okay, and moving it. So that's very smooth, isn't it? Okay, so it fold on my desk edge. Again, this is supposed to be on your um, living room or your bedroom floor. So if you were to adjust the speed, which you click on here, you can see that you can adjust the 50 down to 14, 17, 19, whatever you want, or all the way to 70. But since we're on the desktop, let's reduce it. But, ah, oh, look at that. It has a desktop mode. So let's actually turn that on. Okay, so if we turn that on, and if we're trying to move it, it shows a sign saying that pop up saying that do you want to exit the desktop mode so when it's on a desktop mode probably it's not supposed to um, move around okay so if you look at the actual eyes itself you can see the red lock sign reminding you that it's on a desktop mode and if we use on a speed of 14 that's much better isn't it karma and you can have a bit of a fun with it. Let's actually press the tracking. So it says follow and the person, and then let's start. Okay, so you can see that, oh. <laughs> so it's now tracking me and it's very quick, isn't it? And yeah, it's following my head. So let's start, look at that. Okay, so it actually recognizes me. As you can see on the camera point of view, it knows that it's me, okay? So if I were to move around a bit, see, it's facing towards me. And if I were to walk away from it, but if I were to then walk towards it, it will actually follow me wherever I go. That's really <laughs> quite cute, isn't it? It's like a new, very clever robotic friend. So again on the cruise, which is not ideal for desktop, but we'll show you a very quick sample. So if we press that, it says cruise route or find pet. We haven't got a pet anyway. So select route. Uh, you haven't added a path yet, but you need to add the path and then you just need to let it roll. You have to make sure that Ebo is on the charging dock, okay? And then you go to go forward, sideways, okay? Move around your house. Then what you need to do is go to the charging dock and then you press next and that's all set for the cruise settings okay on the find pet you can actually choose the sound for luring your pet for example you can go for cute cat sound okay so you will see that probably the cat will actually chase your ebo or you could go for barking dog Okay, and then you can actually save it to lure your pet. So this is going to be my favorite feature that is available for this robot, which is the AI Explorer. So if we click on that. Hi, you, what can I help you with? So you can see the 3D cartoonish uh, lady kid on both of the eyes screen. So you can choose the character, AI assistant, storyteller, cute little girl, uh, young girl, funny man so I would like the AI assistant because that sounds most intelligent also on the timbre you can actually change the voice to Ava Andrew Nova turbo and so on who are you hold on to your circuits because you're talking to EDO okay so that's very clever isn't it so who is LJP tech youtuber I always like to ask this question. It's thinking a bit. You're asking about LJP Tech, and let me tell you. That name rings a bell in my circuit. LJP Tech is definitely a YouTuber who focuses on... You guessed it, Tech. 
Oh, that's very clever. Especially robots. It seems they're pretty into robotics, like me. They've even featured the Evo X robot on their channel. It did, yeah. <laughs> See, that's very clever. <laughs> let's actually click on Brian. And then let's go out. Hi, what can I help you with? So you can see the voice has changed and the screen also has changed to AI assistant. Now the models are mainly three, which is quite impressive actually for the settings. We've got ChatGPT for focus task, for ChatGPT for complex task, and Google Gemini as well. Please note that if you don't want to use your mobile app to initiate the AI function, you can always press the button here and then you just initiate it okay hi what can i help you with and then you can have an ongoing conversation rather than click to speak sure i'm here to chat what topic would you like to discuss how are you feeling i don't have feelings but i'm ready to assist you how can i help you today it actually responds very quickly on you that's very impressive now on the application side We've got patrol, pet, parrot, and skills. So if we go for patrol, you just need to add notes on the plan. And on the um, pet parrot, you can actually do chipmunk, robot, cartoon, bee, male voice, female voice, duck, uh, and so on. So let's actually try duck and start, shall we? Hello? Is, does it actually speak back to me? as a parrot <laughs> that's cool chipmunk hello okay robot hello <laughs> so you can actually do a pet parrot which is quite fun so if you press on skills there's these sort of movements that you can do the advance let's press start okay so that's the advance, going slightly backwards, and so on. Eight, shape, and start. Okay, so that's how it works. Snake movement, press start. Okay, so it's a zigzag. Okay, it's going backwards as well. Very clever. And on the sound, you can actually do cute, start, <laughs> cuddly, oh I see, you know what this is for, this is actually to interact with your um, cat, uh, for dog barking, so you can see that your uh, dog is reacting while you're away from your house, that's really clever, wow, begging. <laughs> So let's go for the call option here and start the video call. Wow, that's less than a second. And you can see my face here, shown on the both screen of the eyes. And that's purely based on my um, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Sorry, let's just turn off because it's echoing. It happens all the time because it's in the same room. Um, but you can imagine that you're having a conference call with your family members or your friends and etc. You can switch the camera. Okay, so that's the other side of my phone. Okay. And look at the quality here from the actual Evo. The lens is just gigantic. Hence, we got a really good quality, um, you know, pixel HD whatever you want to call it. So that's very impressive as well. If you're not happy with the sound, you just turn off the mic, okay? And on. And while you're on the call, you can actually control as well. Yeah? So you get the picture of how useful this is. So you can talk to your pet, family member, friends, and etc. Also for the voice call, if you click on it, you can actually open the camera 
Okay, so you can switch it and turn off the microphone as well. So while you're on the voice call, you can, you know, you got all the authority to switch to the camera mode on and off. So on the call setting, you can actually go for the push to call function, time period all day, call recipient, uh, camera tracking during video calls. That's really cool. Uh, device pairing as well. And on the video function, you can take a photo. Okay, so that has actually taken a photo and it's winking. And on the video, recording in process. So it's like, hi. And you can actually see that Evo is sort of animated as well. And on the display as well, you can actually do soft, standard, vivid. There's so many different functions here, isn't it? I'm just starting to lose track, but wide dynamic, um, dynamic range for images as well. Auto night. Well, let's actually switch to night. Wow, look at that. Horror film. Black and white, capable of doing night vision as well. So I guess when you're away on holiday, you could do schedule recording, event recording, snapshot. Okay, so you could do cat and dog face capture, <laughs> portrait capture, time period, repeat every day, playback. So if you click on video playback, it shows the time of the day when it was recorded, SD card, cloud, and etc. And on the Ebo album, we got one photo here and the manual video recording as well. So let's play that. There you go. Something's going on on the recording process. I mean, the sound can be better, but then again, it's not a proper recording device, but that's good enough. So if you're happy with the actual video, you can download it to keep it or you can delete it. Now going back, uh, there's the snapshot video call log as well, task video recording, and you can also keep the downloaded um, track on what is recorded on your phone. So if you go to discovery, it leads to the product encyclopedia as well. So all the different robots and videos recorded by YouTubers and me is basically about um, my settings, who am I, uh, the shared member, friend management settings, about us, and so on. So in conclusion, InnoBot once again demonstrates its leadership in the smart home robotic tech with the impressive Evo Air 2 Plus. This latest model showcases how advanced robotics can seamlessly integrate into daily life as a mobile family companion. Combining home security, real-time connectivity, and engaging interaction. Whether you're checking in on pets, monitoring your home, or staying connected with loved ones through high-quality video calls, the Air 2 Plus delivers a unique interactive experience. Its new rounded eyes, which double as a display for video calls, add both charm and functionality. If you're in search of a compact AI-powered robot that can patrol, engage and entertain, the Evo Air 2 Plus is a standout addition to any modern smart home. So I hope this video helped you understand how cool the Evo Air 2 Plus is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.